Hello, I'm Tim Sandal and I'm the BPL's site microbiologist and this is a new video series for steriles and in this video we're just taking one concept, uh, we're raising no more than three points and the video is not going to last any more than five minutes and that's our guarantee. Okay, so the topic of the first video is air and air is essential for maintaining contamination control. So the first point I want to make is just a reminder about what air does in clean rooms. So, first of all, air comes through a HEPA filter, which takes out the particulates. Air in a grade B room maintains a turbulent state, so all the particles are kept in suspension. Also, the air has a thing called air changes, so the, it means that the air containing particles is sucked out of the room every three minutes. And then we have pressure differentials, which stop dirty air coming into rooms with cleaner air. And then we have unidirectional airflow, which has the sweeping down fast rapid action designed to take particles away from product. Second point I want to make is that there's a really big difference between grade B and grade A. Clean room operators correctly gowned can May stay in grade B and occasionally there's going to be levels of contamination but we try and keep those to a minimum. Grade A can have no contamination and really people should not be present in grade A. If you go into grade A it's an alien concept. Now of course our current operation means that we have to carry on working in grade A but our long-term aim is to keep this down to a minimum. So my third point is, if you do need to work into grade A, then you must move very, very slowly. The faster you move, then the more turbulence that's produced and the greater the possibility for releasing particles into the air, which might land on the wrong thing. The next point about going into grade A is before you go into grade A, think of everything you'll need. You want to avoid going in and out of grade A. Third point is that everything going into grade A that's not a sterilised component needs to be disinfected before it goes into the grade A area. The next point is that when we're in grade A we have to be very mindful that the product contact parts, stopper bowls, manifold, filling needles or any vials that might be there are designed to be contamination free. So we must not lean over or touch any of those components where we can avoid it. And if we do end up touching something, then it has to be removed. So great care and dexterity is obviously required. And all of these bits and pieces that I've raised in this first video are simply designed to try and minimize contamination and maintaining what's called a first air principle for grade A and this is designed to make sure that we're only subjecting grade A to the highest quality of air and minimizing what ourselves do to impart um, contamination. So that's the first video, well under five minutes. Um, enjoy the rest of your shift and uh, be back with you with another video quite soon. Goodbye.